So without further ado, let's go camping. All right, guys, we are en route to Fall Creek Campground. Uh, it's actually Greenlee of Fall Creek, I guess I should say. We're en route, we had to make a few pit stops. Mom and dad are gonna be joining us on the uh, camping adventure this weekend. Like I said, we got the yaks behind us. Uh, do a little swim in the lake temperature. Uh, last time I checked, it was around 83 to 84. It's probably higher than that now. Uh, so yeah, it should be a fun weekend. So once we get there and get our spot, we will uh, start rolling and show you guys what uh, the site looks like. And we'll probably do a few videos. I may combine them, I don't know, but we, uh, we're gonna do one on the Overland Vehicle Systems Nomadic 410, a dedicated video for it. We'll do some uh, kayak fishing this weekend, some videos, and then just a standard uh, camping video showing you kind of what we do. So stick with us and yeah, we'll see and you guys. Oh, Rocker's got something. And I might be doing a Fortnite video here soon. He might be doing a Fortnite video here soon on his channel. So go to Rikers Adventures, yeah. like, subscribe, yeah, and, and I, comment and on I, him. And I played since season four, and now I'm like the best player in the game. He's the best in the game, so check him out. We'll see you guys. Well, well maybe not the best YouTuber. All right, guys, we made it to the spot. Lakefront property. Say hi to Goku. He's checking things out. Anyhow, made it to the spot, so now we're gonna get the um, gear out of the truck, get the yaks off, and uh, get them ready to go out and do some fishing this evening. We're gonna set up the tent. So like I said, there'll be a video on this specifically, but this is the Overland Vehicle Systems Nomadic 4. This thing is huge guys so by the time you can see there by the time it's all unfolded it is a monster and uh, we got plenty of room me beth rocker and goku can all just kick back and chill in there it's uh, equivalent to a california king has a three inch memory foam mattress in it it is supreme so uh, that's what we sleep on at night once we get the gear out we'll do a little update if you haven't seen in my previous videos go back and check them out be sure to subscribe but uh yeah we'll uh, get some footage so I made a rookie mistake. Thought I was uh, recording. I really wasn't. So I've got the tent. Already took the, basically I'll fill you guys in. Took the cover off, undone the straps, Velcro straps, and I've unfolded it. I gotta go around now and fix all the windows. So there's you a little bit of a view of it. Sorry about that. I'm a terrible YouTuber, I know. Forgive me. But anyways, I'll set up and let you guys watch the process. All right, there you go. That's how you set up the Overland Vehicle Systems Nomadic 4 in under five minutes. And in here in a minute, we might be doing the Sour Apple Challenge. Yes, so uh, stay tuned. We're gonna finish getting things out. I'll give you guys a camp tour and then we're gonna go do some fishing here in a little and bit And those too. apples are from our apple tree at home. That's right. All right, guys, here we go. There is camp. Riker's over there whittling on a uh, spear he's trying to make. He's got his knife out. Showed him proper way to hold it. He's making a spear. We got our little tent here. Uh, it's got a uh, toilet in it that we can use in the middle of the night. And it flushes itself and disposes all the waste. So we'll be definitely... Yep, he brought his iPads. Over here at our picnic table, I've got a bunch of stuff in here, camp stuff, 
cookware, lots. Uh, just this is where everything travels. We got the Coleman grill here. Got my camera stuff. Like I said, there's the Yaks, the Overland Vehicle Systems tent. Yep, there's Goku. Everybody say hey to Goku. This is his second camping adventure with us. So he's pretty excited about that. Um, got the tent all set up. Beth's got all the uh, blankets and stuff in it. And then mom and dad are over there at that campsite. They've got their tent set up. So we'll go over there and venture around and show you what we got. So anyhow, let's get everything rocking and rolling. All right, so we're gonna go out on the yak for a minute, see if we can't catch a fish. Like I said, I got the uh, feel free and it's the lure 11.5 with the overdrive in it. Got the rods loaded up, tackle in it. Got the GoPro rolling. So uh, we'll see you guys out on the water here in a minute. Throwing a Ned rig, guys. Sorry, I've been zoned out trying to get everything dialed in here. We're throwing a Ned rig, Z Man TRD on the old spinning setup here. New spinning setup, new to me. We got a, uh, a uh, Temple Fork Outfitters, it is a 6'6 uh, uh, medium light, so it's got a lot of. Uh, Response in it, and we're running a uh, Quantum uh, Curious 2.0. So, uh, new setup to me. It's actually given to me by Dusty. Appreciate that, boy. Just trying to find some fish. Also got a Texas rig, the big 11 inch or 10 inch Mondo worm. Gigan baits, I got it Texas rigged up, and we've got a uh, buzz bait, the Hummer by Gugan. So uh, it's getting close, getting close to uh, to uh, top water. Probably throw it here in a few minutes. I think I got a eight ounce uh, jig head on this uh, Ned rig. Try to throw as a lot of weight as possible. Keep that uh, fall nice and slow. Ready for this. See. Back here around this wood, I'm gonna throw that Mondo worm. <clears throat> like I said, I think the fish may be going out deep. It's showing 84 degrees, so we can still we can still get some out here on the bank. I'm sitting in 10 foot of water right here, so I think there'll be some fish. Should be some fish. Maybe no big ones. I'm gonna hit this main lake point here in a minute. Scan it with the uh, Lorentz. Oh, we got one. We got one. Oh, and he shook it. Oh, oh, that was a keeper too. That was a keeper. What? He did not like that in his mouth. Well, point proven, we know they're in here. And I got a stick. Man, that's my third stick. Three tree pounders in the boat already. And that was a good fish. He's definitely a, definitely a keeper. Maybe 
I just seen him for a split second, but looked like about a 14 inch. Should have set the hook a little better. That was kind of a puny hook set. Sorry if that looked bad. <laughs> that could have been bad. It smells like fish back here. Fish. Let's see, 12 inches of keeper in a kayak tournament. Hey, hey, you got a big sore on you, pal. He is 15. Three quarter. Nice little fish right there, guys. Check it out. 15 and three quarter. Fish number one in the boat. Fish number two I've had. Here. Thank you, pal. Oh, that's what I like to see. Biting the old netter. Oh, forgot. Got the Ned hat on, too, thanks to Dusty. That's what it is. It's all in the hat. Oh, you gotta readjust. Sorry if I don't edit that out. I do apologize, but. Sometimes I get a little, a little bent out of shape, if you know what I mean. A little bent out of shape. Right. Bass number one. New rod, real setup, Dusty. Just, you are my hero. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. Ah, right, sweet. Gosh, that makes me excited. I love catching fish. A little backspin on it here. All right, guys, there we go. We ended up hooking two, landing one in the uh, in the boat. So it was a good trip out, especially to only be out there an hour. Can't wait to fish some more tomorrow. But we're back here at camp. Had a little bit of an incident. I had the trailer parked up here and it whoosh, ran around and hit the tent. But, yeah, but we uh, the they got it out. rescued. So we're good to go there. Yeah, we got a fire started and Riker is going to be doing a sour apple challenge. Sour apple challenge. And so, so, but what, this piece is rotten, so we're just going to have to cut it off. So we might not have as much pieces as we're going to. But mom's not going to be in the video because she's cleaning off her makeup. So she's not going to be in the video. Okay. She's She's. Without her makeup, she just doesn't. All right, so you heard it there. Out. So we're gonna do a sour apple challenge. And as you see in the background, you can probably see lightning bugs. There are lightning bugs, that's for sure. So yeah, stick I, with us, and we'll and check back in. Oh when, yeah, and while we're doing this, which is let's just go back here and show them our, show them their tent. Gigi and them's tent. Let's go. Sure, and they go up here, and they have a fire pit ready. It's it's. It's Jeff it's cars. it's the cameraman's. Jeff the cars. It's the cameraman's dad. Yep. And mom. Yep. Gigi and Poppy look. They can see it from here, so check it out. Dad let's, has a nineteen Tacoma. The let's go and show them the inside. And there's their on it there, right? Oh yeah, and here's a lightning bug, right here. Yep. As you see, I could probably catch it. 
I just caught the lightning bug. No way. Let's see it. You did catch it, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. First try. First trying to catch one. Nice. Good job, dude. First try. It's lighting up on me. <laughs> so look, here's their setup. It's a 2019 Toyota Tacoma. And they put this awesome tent as well. They don't want to sleep on the ground, so their tent sits up in the bed of the truck here. It may be a little dark. We'll do some more tomorrow, but uh, yeah, check it out. Let's see if I can get you some auto here. There we go. So check it out. That's what the inside of their tent looks like. Gigi's over here getting a fire ready with Rocker. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so here we are. All right, you ready to do the sour apple challenge? Yep. All right, who wants to go first? I'll go first. All right, take a little bite. Let's see what you think. I'm just gonna take a. I'm taking a big bite. Sour. All right, who's sour. next? Who's next on the list? I'll go. And Gigi's next. Sour. <laughs> Sour. Poppy Ooh. next. Yep. Then, then, then Poppy's gonna hold the camera. Then Dad's gonna eat one. <laughs> oh, well. Dad, eat one. Right, my turn. Mhm. Mm right, let's see. Everybody says it's sour. I'm not going with a big bite. Oh my god. I don't like it. <laughs> Too sour? I don't like it. Too sour. Don't eat no more, okay? They're Why? crab apples. Why? Just in case, don't eat no more. Those yeah. are the most sour things I've ever eaten in my life. It made my teeth just like gritty. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. You don't like your face like squint. Like. That's it for the apple challenge. If you, if you like this video, Make sure to um, make sure to to subscribe, ring the bell for no, for more notifications, and leave a like. I've seen a fish jump over I've there. I've seen that. Wait, let's you want to fish some more? Tell him. Yeah, maybe we can put a little bit of the fishing video on this. Yeah, I've got that thing recording, so let's go down there and fish some. Yeah, and, re and let's record. All right, let's go. Guys, good morning. Slept in. It's about six o'clock. Got up. Let the dog do his thing. But uh, beautiful morning out on the water. We'll see if we can get the kayak out and get on a little bit of uh, top water bite this morning. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get everything out. Give you guys a look at what, what it looks like here, and we'll see you on the water. Well, this morning's fishing adventure didn't go as planned. Didn't even get a bite. But it was a nice morning now. Hanging out here at the campsite now. And uh, Gija is getting some breakfast rolling there. Yeah, and I've already had two pop tarts for breakfast, but I'm still hungry. You've had two pop tarts already? Yep. Sweet. Oh, yeah, and earlier there was a, when it, like, about like an hour in whenever daddy was. Um, Talking earlier, he uh, well, I seen a either a very large bass that was as big as a catfish, or just a catfish. Chunky one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very chunky. So that's, that's why I think it's a catfish. Yep. There's a view for the morning. Say hey. 
<laughs> but what if my shoes fall off? They won't. They'll float. All right, guys, so we are down here at the lake. We're going to do a little swimming. Riker Wayne's ready to uh, get in, so. Yeah, it's my first time swimming in a lake. No, it's not. He's crazy. Here. Yeah, here it is. So, anyways, we're going to do a little swimming, get some B-roll action. Yeah, but, but, stay then, on. but then up on the mountain, I've been with Uncle Don and we're swimming up on the mountain up there. Yeah. Or is it down here? Same place. Anyways, we're going to get in. There we go guys, Texas rig right here on the bank. This guy's been caught two or three times. Uh, we'll measure him up and see what he gets. He is right at 15 inches. 15 inch largey, they ain't been eating for well over a month and they're finally uh, kicking in. So glad to catch him, let's let him go here. All right, so we just uh, got done having a little swimming session there for the for the night, and I got this fire stoked up. I'm gonna make me some uh, hot dogs on the campfire. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, right, see if we can operate this one-handed. Maybe a bit of a task. Right, let's see if this. Oh well, this works. If I don't drop a weenie in the fire, I'll be happy. Put them right down in this hole here. That's where all your heat is. If you're ever roasting something, put it right down in there. That's where all the heat is sourcing from. Oh yeah. Get them good and hot. Oh yeah. And there you go. Two perfectly cooked. Campfire dogs. Little bit of chili on the bottom of the buns, weenie on top. And for the taste test. Hard to beat. Go eat, enjoy the fire, play some tunes, wait on the sun to go down. We'll see you guys. Uh, so here is the inside of the nomadic. Let's see if I can't brighten this up for you guys a little bit. There we go. So here's the inside of the nomadic four. Uh, I can easily sit up, squat on my knees and have plenty of headroom. But where it really comes in nice is the size of this mattress. So um, it's around the same size as a California king. I can lay head to toe this way or I can lay head to toe this way and have plenty of room. Beth, me and Racker all sleep right here and we never have to touch each other and Goku and uh, that's laying with it. I guess the narrow way you could probably lay head here, toe down here and probably squeeze another person in here if need be but there's plenty of room, plenty of ventilation. It does have the uh, rain fly. We leave it on just to keep dew stuff from coming in we always open up all of our windows and uh, let it vent properly and so far we haven't had any any kind of wetness inside the tent at all it's always been bone dry and then another good thing about the mattress is, is it comes as you can see with a two or two and a half inch memory foam I do think the only thing I'm gonna do to upgrade is right here where the seam is, where the break in the mattress, that's where this thing folds in half. I may buy another maybe inch or inch and a half 
it'd create foam mattress and put up there for where our backs and stuff are for a little more support. I'm a side sleeper and it kind of hurts my shoulders sometimes, but um, you can leave all your bedding up here. Beth takes it down so we can wash it, but you can actually fold up all your bedding and leave everything inside the tent when, uh, when you're not sleeping. So we're folding this thing up. So the pillows will stay in here tonight. We'll put all of our uh, rods for the windows and stuff in here and fold this thing up. So I'm ready to wrap this trip. All right, guys, that wraps up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave us a thumbs up if you did. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on that bell if you are subscribed to get my new content. And we are out of here. Thanks, guys.